Good morning, good morning, saints. I hope I find you well. This is uh, Apostle Emma Panda. I believe that um, you had a wonderful night, for this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and we shall be glad in this day. Well, people of God, there are many things that normally happen during the night time, but truly the Lord has been with us and the Lord has been protecting us. Many of you, you don't know what happens throughout the night, but there are spiritual things that will be happening throughout the night. So the reason why I said to you yesterday that I'll be talking much about dreams and visions is because I want you to definitely understand that dreams and visions are essential. Those who are joining us today, my name is Apostle Emma Panda. I hope I will speak to you and I will speak to uh, every area of your life so that at least you will understand that these things are important in our lives. Now, people of God, listen to me. There is dreams and there is visions. There is dreams and there is visions. Yesterday, I, I, I said, let me explain to you the difference between dreams and visions. And um, I even have um, a year with me uh, a, a definition which is different from the one that I gave you yesterday, but it's almost the same. Dreams and visions is that dreams happen while least you are sleeping. That's what I said yesterday. Whereas vision happens while least you are awake. You see a dream when unconscious, while you see a vision when you are conscious. You see a dream when you are unconscious. You see visions when you are conscious. Like I said to you yesterday, you might be opening up your eyes and you can see a vision just like the way you are looking at me right now. So at the end of the day, you need to understand that visions and dreams, they all give a picture, but the picture is totally different in the way it comes. Only that's way it, it, it is totally different. Somebody was asking me yesterday, um, what is a dream? So I want to give you today the mystery of a dream. Remember, in these two days, I will give you the issue and the mystery of dreams and then in the last uh, on thursday and friday i'll teach you about uh, the issue of visions what is what are visions what is the purpose of visions but these two days today and tomorrow allow me to speak to you allow me to educate you about the issue of dreams because many they they don't dream some of you don't dream some they dream but they forget but i want to tell you something dreams are not meant for you to forget dreams are meant for you to to actually see what is happening around you um i asked the question what is a dream dictionary sense i want to give you the dictionary um explanation it says it's a series of thoughts or images occurring in a person's mind during sleep many dreams uh, happen when you were thinking of something when you were actually disturbed by something when you were uh not fine with something. So many dreams, when they come to you, they need interpretation. So many times when you see somebody having a dream, it needs interpretation. But wherever you have a dream, some of the dreams, they appear like they are normal. They are not normal. They need um, <clears throat> explanation. All right, fine. Let me get into the teaching according to the Bible. Now, listen, your dreams are made up of uh, things that you think. Ecclesiastics chapter... 5 verse 3 Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 3 you can see here it is saying for a dream coming through the multitudes of business in other words a dream comes through thoughts whatever that you have been doing per day whatever that you have been thinking of whatever that you have been actually uh, worried about whatever that hates you whatever that disturbs you Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 3 saying for a dream cometh through the multitudes of business so in other words you were thinking about it you will spend the whole day thinking about it it is actually in your thoughts so at the time when you go to sleep this thing will actually have an effect of coming back uh, in your in a dream form maybe you were thinking of somebody who disappointed you you dream about that person maybe you dreamt about um, somebody that you were fighting with you dream of that person so Ecclesiastes is saying for a dream cometh through the multitudes of business. A dream cometh through the multitudes of business. That's why we need to keep our minds free. 
if you want a dream you have to realize that a dream that comes from god right remember there is a dream that comes from god this one here it comes from your thoughts from your mind you were thinking about it like now you are thinking about money you are thinking about work you are going to dream of work you are going to dream of money if you think about somebody who hates you you dream about that witch uh, as a witch fighting you and you think that person is a witch uh, you dream about uh, an ex you think about an accident you dream about an accident so that one is a mind thought this one is a mind type of a dream that has been manufactured by the dream so this one you, by a, by some thoughts so this one is merely for thoughts so you realize that every time you're thinking of something you are bound to dream about it it, it is bound to come back as a dream in your subconscious so this one is more of a mind oriented dream so look at it people of god there are three types of dreams there is godly type of dream there is evil type of dream satanic dreams and there is also godly dreams many times people have got dreams that are from god you were not thinking about it you were not thinking about that person and then a dream comes in directly from god telling you exactly that person might be suffering that person might be crying that is a dream from god then a dream that you were actually uh, having about what you were thinking you will see that that dream will actually have things that are happening in your present life that you were thinking about look at it the one from god you won't forget it it will be too detailed you will never your spirit will even remind you about it but the ones that you are thinking about you can realize that i've been thinking about this person now i end up dreaming about this person and there are also demonic dreams demonic dreams are those ones that you end up uh, disturbed about those are the dreams that you normally have a problem with they are dreams that you normally have a problem with why because you were busy uh, thinking much about it all right let's see now what the scripture is saying because this now shows that our mind plays an important role so now when we go into the scripture we realize that in philippians um philippians chapter 4 in philippians chapter 4 verse 8 the bible says finally brethren whatsoever things are true whatsoever things are honest whatsoever things are just whatsoever things are pure whatsoever things are lovely whatsoever things are good report of good report if there be any virtue that is power and if there be any praise think on these things so in other words you're thinking of something that is true you're thinking of something that is honest thinking of something that is just thinking of something that is pure you don't have any evil thoughts you don't have every every, every grudge whatever it can be it is not in your mind you are thinking of pure things and lovely things that's the time when you realize that when you sleep your dreams will not be disturbed by your subconscious your dreams will not be disturbed by <clears throat> your thoughts so you look at it and then you find out that we sometimes make up our own dreams why because we are thinking of something bad to happen to somebody and then when we are busy thinking about it we dream about that person dead many people normally suspect their husbands that maybe <clears throat> my husband is cheating that's where you discover they will be dreaming of different girlfriends your husband with a girlfriend your husband cheating your husband doing all those other things it is because we normally think negative thoughts negative thoughts contribute to all those things so whatever things that are honest whatever things that are just whatever things that are pure whatsoever things that are lovely whatsoever things that are good of good report we have to think about those things so every time you look at it you need to have thoughts in that line that is why in the book of philippians it is actually encouraging us to think along those lines now what happens now when you dream let's say you have remembered a dream like while it's you're still dreaming while it's you're still um having that dream clear in your mind what happens the bible speaks about a man called um daniel <clears throat> in the book of daniel chapter 7 verse 1 in the first year of belshazzar king of babylon 
Daniel had a dream. You see, so everyone dreams. Daniel had a dream and visions of his head upon his bed. <clears throat> and he wrote the dream and told the sum, the sum of the matter. In other words, he was having an encounter. He, he had a double portion. He had a dream. He had a vision. But the Bible says he wrote down the dream. He wrote it down. He sat down and he wrote it, he wrote it down. Many of you, you need to practice. You need to have a book. Have a small book. Find something, find something like this. Have a small book. Write down your dreams. Write down your visions. Write down everything that you encounter. It might come to you like maybe you are just thinking. We call it daydreaming. Maybe you are just sitting there. You are fantasizing. You are thinking. Many people call it daydreaming. But many times it is actually a vision. You are seeing things. But I know they, you are, you are just imagining yourself in a certain place. So sometimes we have mistaken uh, visions as daydreaming. But they are not daydreaming. You will not be daydreaming, but it is a vision that you are actually encountering, that you are actually seeing. So many don't, want, don't understand the benefits of our dreams. I need you to, <coughs> sorry. I need you to know that uh, dreams have got benefits. Number one. A dream can actually show you where you have gone wrong in life. A dream can take you back. Some of you, you dream when you are when you are at, at home. You are no longer staying there, but you are now dreaming yourself at home. Maybe that dream wants to show you where your problem started. It wants to show you how you got entangled in that situation that you are in now. It can take you to the root cause of your problem. Dreams can actually push you backwards and then you can see other things that had happened. Like for example, I prayed for somebody on a Sunday. After praying for this person on a particular Sunday, the person went home. The person did not manifest in church, no. But when this person reached home, the person started uh, vomiting in the dream. He saw himself vomiting, saw himself uh, being operated and things were removed out of him. And he did not understand. He phoned me and he said, you know what, I'm feeling fine today. I had a dream, a strange dream. Something was being taken out from me and I also saw myself uh, vomiting. Then I said to him, that was the deliverance that took place the time when I was praying for you. So in other words, dreams can tell you about your present. Dreams can tell you about your past. But many a times when you dream, you see yourself encountering issues. Sometimes you dream having uh picking coins coins that's poverty picking coins you dream yourself eating in the dream mm -mm, that's 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 not good because when you dream eating you are taking in sicknesses you are taking in things that the enemy wants you wants to be inside of you so you you see yourself dreaming eating you see yourself drinking in the dream those are not good you there's a demonic manipulation in that type of dream sometimes many of you you dream uh, buying and selling, which means there was an exchange in the spirit. You were actually exchanging what you are having and taking what the enemy is giving you. So dreams are actually complicated in a way that whenever you have a dream, you must get somebody who interprets the dream. Some of us, like myself, and I, I thank God for the gift. I can tell you your dream. I can tell you what you are dreaming from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That's the grace God has given me. I can give you your dreams in five days and I can I can actually interpret those dreams. It's not because I chose to, but God gave me that gift. It's not that I, 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 I went to school for it, but God gave me the ability to interpret them and also to tell them. So at the moment when I tell you, let's say your dream, and then I give you an explanation, you discover, no, it's the thing that is happening in my life now. Sometimes people give me their dreams, then I interpret the dreams and they'll be surprised. Why? Because that is what really happened in their lives. I did not prophesy, but I explained the dream. So the moment when I explain the dream, you'll be shocked because that will be something that will be happening in your current situation. Someone might dream in a road that they don't know. Someone might be dreaming in a car going somewhere, but they don't know where they are going, which means your destiny has been diverted. 
those who were walking on the road, it shows that you were actually, you are lonely in your life. You are alone in that road, you are alone in your life. So at the end of the day, dreams can actually reveal to us. It shows us what exactly is taking place in our lives. So today's teaching, I wanted just you to understand that dreams are very essential. So I want people out there to send me um, what are your what are your concerns? What is it that is happening to you? Maybe you are dreaming of bad things. Stop thinking about bad things. Maybe you are dreaming of um, people chasing you. You see that one is so dangerous. Many people when they sleep, people will be chasing them with a knife. Uh, they see animals chasing them. They see things uh, happening around them. Then you wonder what exactly is happening here, in which it is a product it's a product of what they were thinking sometimes sometimes it's demonic manipulated dreams and demonic manipulated dreams are dangerous every time a demon um, a, 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 there's a manipulation there there's a problem i can see somebody is dreaming having a spiritual husband somebody is dreaming about a spiritual husband a spiritual husband comes to you a spiritual wife comes to you um you have an encounter uh, with these uh, spiritual entities like a man coming to sleep to, with you like a woman coming to sleep to you like a snake coming to sleep with you oh my god I can speak and speak and speak many people's relationships are affected by what they dream some you are fine in a relationship but when you dream of having uh, sex in the dream or some entity come a woman or a man comes into your dream that's when you start to fight in your house and you'll be asking yourself, we were fine, but I don't know why we are fighting. We were good all this time. No, they just sent to you a spiritual husband. So it will affect your life. You will continue to disturb your life. So people of God, that is what I said I must just teach you this morning. I want you to share this video. I want you to share it. It will be also on our YouTube channel, Grace Ministries um, SA. And I want you to go there. I want you to subscribe on our YouTube channel. And I want you to be part of what we'll be doing. I want you also to get to a point where you watch the videos that are there. Watch those videos. Share this video. I want you to share this video. I want you to, to share it with others. Those who are saying, hey, Pastor, I'm not dreaming. Men of God, I'm not dreaming. I don't know what is wrong with me. There is nothing wrong with you. But the enemy can close your dreams. Look, people of God, sometimes we sleep just because we hate somebody. We see that person as a witch coming to, to, to do something to us in our dreams. We have to be very, very careful. So let me just pray for you. If you don't dream, I want to pray for you. Today, you are going to dream. If you don't have an encounter in your dreams, today I said you are going to dream. So let me just pray for you quickly so that you can actually understand that the Lord is with you. Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I pray right now as I open up their minds. Whatever that is blocking their minds not to dream, I command it right now to lose them and let them go. Lord, let dreams and visions be their portion. Let dreams never confuse them. Many people are confused by their dreams. Many people don't understand their dreams. Father, open up their minds. Open up their minds. Let them dream and let them remember their dreams. Let them understand that whatever they are dreaming, it shall surely come to pass and it comes from above. Lord, give them solutions through their dreams. Give them answers through their dreams. Give them understanding of their dreams. As I pray to you, Lord God Almighty, thank you for the gift of life. Thank you, Lord, for everything that you've done. Thank you, Lord, for your love towards our lives. Thank you, Lord, for each and everything that you have poured into our spirit. We give you honor and glory. We thank you, Lord. We glorify your name in Jesus' mighty name. Your mind has been opened. You now have a clear picture now. When you sleep, you will not struggle. You shall dream. I want some of you, if you if you are shy to put your dream on our timeline, I want you to put your dream in, in our in my inbox. Put the dream in my inbox. I will I will give you an explanation. I will not say who it is, but I will give you an explanation of that dream. 
catch me on press ministries international bloom on our account today catch me there i will be doing a live stream today of our service our prophetic and deliverance service i'll be teaching a powerful message people i want you to tune in because tonight from half past five to half past six i will be live i'll be just teaching you about the basics about something that you need to understand remember we are now concluding we are now concluding everything i think today is the 31st of march we are ending this month today so half past five to half past six catch me apostle emma pan on our grace ministries blue fountain grace ministries international bloom fountain account and also on our page grace ministries international so god bless you i'm signing out i think i've spoken to you those who have got understanding i want you to continue to uh, watch and learn more tomorrow i'll be teaching once again in our in our morning session i'll be teaching again about all these things god bless you shalom jesus is lord forever